Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about what if I am not that great in data structures and algorithm. So if I'm not that great in data structures and algorithm, first of all, I'll identify the cause that why I'm not great. And if I need to pursue, for example, if I am looking or if I'm targeting any product based companies, so product uh, in product based companies, they look for problem solvers and you should be good in problem solving skill, which comes with the DSA data structures and algorithm. So I should be proficient or I should have good command over it if my target is that. So if my if I'm not that great in data structures and algorithm, then I would try to overcome it by with the help of uh, with the help of learning new algorithms with the help of uh, pursuing or maybe buying a new course or uh, something else right so i would be figuring out other than that if you say that if i'm not that great in data structures and algorithms then i would be working on my some other skills other skills means other skill means that if someone for example if someone is not good in data structure and algorithms so, so it doesn't mean that he can't be good in uh, development skills he could be good in web development skills he could be good in, in android development or maybe other thing but the thing is all those other things that you learn either data science machine learning app development web development anything that you are going to learn so data structures and algorithms is going to help you in clearing the basics or uh, building or building the fundamentals so if you are not that great in data structures and algorithms you, there's no need to worry about that why because you don't even need to be that great because that that great is actually a relative term beginning with development you should have a good co good command or at least have a basic understanding of data structures and algorithms right and other than that uh, if, for example there are many other opportunities if specifically someone say hey if i'm not that great in data structures and algorithms and the skill or the job that i'm looking is uh, doesn't require that much dsa it could uh, work how like for example there are tons of jobs in available in technical see you could be a technical blogger you could uh, work as a content creator so there are so many opportunities that you you can look, look upon but the thing is if you are not that in great in data structure and if that job already requires the dsa then try to identify the cause try to identify why you are not able to grasp the concept why you are not uh, improving so that's upon you that's that would be my suggestion that uh, what if i am not that great in data structures then there would be the two possibilities first of all if that job requires dsa then i would definitely try to work upon and try to identify my cause analyze the situations that what are the improvement areas of improvement that i could work upon and other than that i would be looking upon uh, some other opportunities or some other fields because it, it it's also possible right that uh, uh, although you have given your 100% and then too you are not getting those things so it means that thing is not made for you because in my experience I could say that I was learning uh, data science couple of months back but uh, data science uh, but later on giving some few months spending few months on it I got to know that it's not my cup of tea so I would rather suggest you that uh, anything you want to tie up on for example competitive programming dsa machine learning anything that fascinates you right so if you haven't given the time if you haven't is at least tried it once how can you say that that's not made for you so i hope you were able to get something out of this video thank you very much